Developing formulas for triangles and quadrilaterals. Our objectives are to develop and apply the formulas for the areas of triangles and special quadrilaterals, as well as solve problems involving perimeter and area of triangles and special quadrilaterals. Why learn this? You can use formulas for area to help solve problems. Let's look at the area addition postulate. The area of a region is equal to the sum of the areas of its non-overlapping parts. So let's start by looking at the area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram with base B and height H is area equals your base times your height. Let's try a few examples. All right, so the area of the parallelogram, we know that the area equals your base times your height. We don't have your height here. There's a couple ways you can go about that. You can notice that it's a right triangle, so you can use Pythagorean theorem, or you can shortcut it even one more step and realize that your hypotenuse is five and one of your legs is three, so therefore you're going to have a three, four, five triangle, which is one of the Pythagorean triples we talked about earlier. So your area equals 6 times 4, which is 24 inches squared, since we're dealing with area. Take a moment and pause the video and try these next two on your own. Now that you've had a moment to try them on your own, let's try them together. Well, we have the area. We know the area is base times height. So we have 5x squared minus 5x equals your base times your height. Well, we want to get h by itself, so therefore we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 5. And when we do so, we end up with x squared minus x equals h. So therefore, your height is the quantity x squared minus x and since we're dealing with centimeters, it is centimeters. Let's look at C. We want to find the perimeter. It gave us the area. So we know that our base times our height needs to give us our area. So we have 12x equals 6 times whatever our base happens to be. So we need to divide both sides by 6. So we end up with 2x equals our base. Well, now that we have our base and our height, we can simply add. So we have 6 plus 6 plus 2x plus 2x, and we end up with 12 plus 4x, and this quantity would be in terms of feet. And there's your perimeter. Let's look at the area of triangles and trapezoids. The area of a triangle with base B and height H equals 1 half your base times your height. And the area of your trapezoid is similar, but since you have two bases, you're going to add both those bases together and then multiply that quantity by your height and then divide by 2. Or you can think of it as multiplying it by a half. Let's try a few examples. So the area of a trapezoid in which your base 1 is 9 centimeters, your base 2 is 12 centimeters, and your height is 3. So we know that our area is going to equal the quantity 9 plus 12 times 3. And when we're all said and done, we're going to divide that by 2. Alright, so we have 9 plus 12 times 3 divided by 2. And that gives us 31.5. And since we're dealing with area and centimeters, it's going to be centimeters squared. Take a moment and pause the video and try B and C. Now that you've had a moment to try B and C, let's try them together. So we have our area, which is x squared, and we want to find our base. So we have x squared equals 
one half your base times your height, which they gave us was x. So we want to divide both sides by x because our goal is to get the b or your base by itself. So we know what that is. So when you divide both sides by x, you're left with x equals one half your base. Well, to get rid of your 1 half, you're going to multiply both sides by 2. So 2x equals your base. So therefore, your base is 2x inches, since we're dealing with inches here. Let's look at the third one here. We're trying to find our B2 of the trapezoid in which your area is 8 feet. So if your area is 8 feet squared, 8 is going to equal your one-half times the quantity 3 plus b2 times your height, which is 2. Well, one-half and 2, they kind of cancel each other out, giving you 1. So you're left with 8 equals 3 plus b2. Subtract 3 from both sides. So you end up with 5 feet is how long your second base is. Let's look at the area of rhombuses and kites. The area of a rhombus or kite with diagonals D1 and D2 is 1 half your diagonal 1 times your diagonal 2. Let's try a few examples. So we have D2 of a kite in which D1 equals 16 centimeters and the area is 48 centimeters. So you have 48 equals 1 half your D1, which is 16, times your D2, which is what you're trying to find. So 1 half of 16 is 8, so you have 48 equals 8 times D2. Divide both sides by 8, and your D2 is going to equal 6, and in this case it would be centimeters. All right, so take a moment and pause the video and try figuring out the area of the rhombus and the area of the kite. Now that you've had a moment to try to figure these out, let's try them together. So we know the area of your rhombus is your one half times your two diagonals. So we're going to have one half and we'll have times six x plus 4, and then times 10x plus 10. And then we can distribute. So we keep our 1 half over here for right now. So we have 6 times 10, which gives a 6x times 10x, sorry, which gives you 60x squared. Uh, 6x times 10 gives you 60x. And then 4 times 10 gives 10x gives you 40x. And then you have 4 times 10, which gives you 40. When we simplify, we end up with 1 half, and we have 60x squared plus 100x plus 40. And then we need to just take half of each of this. So we end up with 30x squared plus 50x plus 20, and that quantity, since we're talking about area and we're dealing with inches, would be inches squared. All right, well, let's try finding the area of the kite. To find the area of the kite, we're going to need to figure out what x and y are. You can use Pythagorean theorem because you know that all of these inside here will be perpendicular. And when you use Pythagorean theorem, you find out that x is in fact 40 feet and y is 12 feet. So now we can use our 12 feet and our 40 feet within our formula. So we have 1 half and we need the one of the diagonals, so 40 and 12 give us 52. 
And then our other diagonal will be 9, and the other half will be the same, 9 and 9, so that's 18. So we have 1 half, 42 times 18, which gives us 468 feet squared, since we're dealing with area. And that concludes our lesson on developing formulas for triangles and quadrilaterals.